To start, drag and drop your video onto the timeline. Then drag and drop our icon onto the upper layer. Adjust the duration as needed. Click Resize and select the desired icon. Next, go to the Video Mask. Choose Circle, further adjust the size and position. Return to Video Basics. Adjust the icon to around 30% and move it to a suitable position in the video. Add a scale keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Move the playhead forward by 10 frames and add another scale keyframe. Move another 10 frames forward and add a third keyframe. Then move forward 10 frames and add a fourth keyframe. Now that we have four keyframes, let's fine tune the scale for a smooth pop in effect. Go to the third keyframe and decrease the scale by 4%. Move to the second keyframe and increase the scale by 4%. Finally, move to the first keyframe and decrease the scale to 1%. When we play this back, it will give us a nice pop in effect. Alright, now let's go to the Animation tab and under the In category, apply a fade in animation. Adjust the duration as needed. Next, let's add an exit animation. Go to the animations, click on out animation, and choose one that fits your style. I'll choose slide to the right. There you go! We've now created an animation for an icon with smooth pop-in and exit effects. If you want to add another icon, repeat the previous steps. Then, right-click on the icon layer that already has animations Choose Copy Attributes. Click on the other icon layer. Choose Paste Attributes. Here, make sure to uncheck the Mask option. Finally, right-click and create a compound clip. Move it to where you need it. That's it. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.